4.2.1 reactions of acids and metals. So acids react with some metals to produce a salt and hydrogen. We'll come on to which metals do and don't react with acids uh, later in this topic. So metal atoms lose electrons and we know from the previous video if you've watched that um, that oxidation is a loss of electrons. So metal atoms lose electrons and are oxidized when they react with acids and hydrogen ions, which is given the symbol H+, please make sure you have the plus as a superscript, not in the middle like it is on this. Uh, make sure you go superscript to get it right and get your mark in the exam. It gains electrons. Well, we know that reduction is gain of electrons. So hydrogen ions gain electrons and are reduced in uh, when metals react with acids. So let's look at an example. Magnesium reacts with hydrochloric acid to make magnesium chloride and hydrogen. That is a word equation. The next one down, Mg with the, with the state symbol G in brackets to show it's a gas, which is wrong because magnesium is a solid. So that should be an S in brackets. Well done if you spotted that. Reacts with two moles of HCl hydrochloric acid with Aq in brackets, which means it's in solution. Makes magnesium chloride, MgCl2, in solution, Aq, and hydrogen, which is a gas. So it's got the G in brackets. Again, make sure you understand state symbols and make sure you can understand the difference between a word equation and a symbol equation. So if you take that reaction and break it into the reduction part and the oxidation part, then we can see that the magnesium is losing electrons. Magnesium atoms lose two electrons to form magnesium ions, Mg2+, and the hydrogen ions, the protons, gain electrons to form hydrogen gas. So we can see these are two equations that add together, so they are called half equations. Then if you look at the final equation shown, this is an ionic equation. It shows the ions that are involved in the reaction. The ions that don't change, the chloride ions, they're excluded from this reaction. So they don't have a change in oxidation number. They're not oxidized and reduced, so they don't appear in the ionic equation. So which metals react with acids? Well, it's metals that are less reactive than hydrogen do not react with acids to form salts and hydrogen. You can think of metals reacting with acids as a displacement reaction. If the metal's more reactive than hydrogen, it will displace the hydrogen and replace the hydrogen in the metal salt. But if that metal is less reactive than hydrogen, then it will not displace hydrogen from the salt. If this has helped you to understand equations better, then please, please, please comment, like, and share. Share it with someone who's not as confident as you, and you'll be helping them out.